Well, joining me now in Halton News is an independent candidate for the May 2nd Melton by-election, Arabella Vida. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. So why did you choose to run in this election as an independent candidate? Okay, so uh, based on my first-hand life experiences and um, my educational background and my specialty into special needs programs, so these things convinced me that if I have to serve public interest, I just can't join any party because part parties are having certain agendas and they would prefer their agenda on public or Milton residents. And I just can't do this. So that was the basic reason for me to stay independent and uh, continue to you know, run my campaigns to serve Milton residents. So let's talk about your campaign without knowing a party because you are independent. What is your platform? Like uh, it's a, it's very difficult, you know, to compete with political parties as they are well established, and we are facing a lot of challenges. But you know that my established, I have already established my credibility and myself through my organization. That name is Ethan Reed Organization. It's a first of its kind in Canada, in all Canada, and that's main mandate is to serve the special needs. Um, to make things for them as easy as possible for their affected families. So my organization is another support for me to help me on this campaign. And then I am not using like, uh, I don't wanna talk about uh, parties, political achievements. Like here I am trying to do my own strategies. Like I am reaching people one-to-one -one like I am meeting people and um, my social media, I'm just monitoring my social media as well. Like it's a very active interaction with the people. So that's what making me able and uh, to listen to them, like firsthand concerns, to listen to their concerns and to prepare things accordingly. And then other thing that uh, we are trying to arrange events community events, different platforms, so we can get the people public so they can speak to me, like, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. So that's how we are doing things. So you mentioned special needs. I'm curious, why is special needs at the forefront of your campaign? Why is this important to you? Okay, so while um, while it's based on my personal experiences again, I am highly qualified and with specialized education and special needs. And based on my firsthand experiences, like me and my son were survivors. And uh, once we even reached Canada and I experienced, uh, like I would say the word horrible, uh, disillusionment challenges. So they are very re-traumatizing. So those all experiences convinced me. I've been fighting for people. I've been advocating for uh, special needs, you know, uh, people and their rights. But I realized that I truly need a platform. So I did lay foundation to Ethan Reed organization. But then I still realized that I need some position in government to make the difference to bring the change. So what I experienced that special needs, they are special, right? And their lives are already very difficult and there are not enough support for their families and for the children. Specialized treatments are not at all available in Canada. And in Milton, there is not even specialized children hospital. So that convinced me to focus special needs, special needs healthcare, special needs education, special needs accessibility for traveling, everything. So they are my focus, like my first, one of my first priorities. And I would build up, uh, if I get selected as MPP, I would be building up a specialized treatment center for special needs children and on stage two for age 18 plus. So these are my priorities. And because I don't see that 
the government has truly addressed the concerns and the challenges and the needs. So parents with their kids of special needs are just re-experiencing challenges, not only just challenges, it's a lot re-traumatizing and discrimination is there. So I wanna make sure with my MPP position that I can ensure and guarantee the inclusive environment free from any discrimination and in practice, the services, enough funding to cover their, you know, expensive therapies, medical needs, not putting the pressure on families that, hey, you sell your property and then you can purchase the therapies. No, I wanna bring the change and I wanna make their lives as easy as possible.